Hello, this is Denise Snow. Today's tutorial is about how to set up your gradebook so it will match the grading categories on Infinite Campus and your gradebook will look the same um, whether they check their grades on Canvas or Infinite Campus. So the first thing you need to know is that your assignments all go into a certain category. If you've created assignments already, it's easy to move them into these new categories. So um, it looks like you should, like when you first start uh, creating grading assignments, you would think you would click on grades, but you don't. You actually click on assignments. Let me give my, my assignments a minute to load because I've imported a bunch of assignments from different people. So I've already created my grading categories and I'm going to go ahead and delete them so you can see what it looks like. Uh, you can delete grading categories just by clicking on these three buttons here and delete. It's a move to assignments and I'll put them in assignments. And delete. Move them. Assignments. So if there's already existing categories that you brought in from a template or something, make for sure when you delete them, you don't delete the assignments in it, you move them to a different grading category. I'm going to do this. I, I deleted my 60% um, and my 30%. I'll leave my other two, but I want to show you how to um, create a new group and then um, weigh those categories. Okay, that one has having some problems. So we'll just create one group. So uh, even if you have other groups, I'm going to just hit plus a group. And I'm going to click on this one. And I deleted the one for quarter one, 60%. I like to put my quarters in there so I know the separation when if I'm going to keep using this for quarter two. I need to know the separation of what was graded quarter one grade book and what goes into quarter two grade book. So I would start with Q1 and then what is this one? The one I deleted was a 60% and mastery. And I already created um, a waiting one here. Yours probably won't have it if you don't have categories yet, but I'm going to leave that blank and hit save. I would then go ahead and create my other categories by hitting grading categories, hit back group, add quarter one 10%, add quarter group 30% um, skill development right here. Once I have all my groups created, now I want to weigh them. To do that, I hit these three buttons next to the blue assignments button. And right here it says assignment group weights. And it brings up all your different categories. And you do need to make this total equal 100%. So I'm going to find the new one I added, quarter one mastery. I'm going to change that to 60. And you'll see my total does go up to 100%. If I had any other categories here that someone else had set up, I want to make for sure to set them to zero. So I set up my quarter one 30% skill development, quarter one 10% employability skills, and I have my 60% mastery quarter one. And I save that. And then I would just take assignments and find the ones that go in each one. Um, ungraded ones just we could go to any category but if you create a category called ungraded it makes it easy for the students to know that that category is ungraded it's up to you um, imported assignments if you brought some from other class uh, shells they would be under category and there you can drag them into any um, grading category you want and then my I created one for my semester exam I'm not going to do that until later I also created a category for my final quarter grade one, and I'll tell you why that later on once we are finishing our quarter one, um, if we start using this again for our quarter two. Um, but I would take whatever assignment I want to move into whatever category by hitting these dots right here and just dragging them into the gray area. And it doesn't matter which, um, which uh, order they go in, they just need to be dropped into the right one. So up or down. Um, the bigger the screen you have, of course, the better. So all the way down. And this could take time depending on how many assignments. But you can minimize um, some of these um, module or, or grading groups so it makes it easier. So templates, semester exam, there we go, 60% mastery. 
So let's say assignments one, this one I could um, actually minimize and if I wanted to, I can actually move the whole thing at the bottom so it's easier for me to move things around. My templates one, minimize it, move it to the bottom. My quarter one, final grade, I don't really need that one yet. I'll use that one later. So I can minimize these and then drag everything into the right category. If I'm going to create a new assignment after I create categories, then when I go into my assignments or I go to my home and go to module and plus assignment either way, when I'm creating an assignment, it's going to have this option for assignment group and you're going to have all those that have been created here. So make for sure you select that here and then you won't have to drag your assignment into the right category when you create it. So that's all you need to know about grading categories. When you do uh, the next morning when your grades, once you enter something into the gradebook, the next morning it gets imported in Infinite Campus. And if you have this category name in there, it will come up and tell you that name in your assignment. So you'll know, oh, I need to set this to my 10% category in Infinite Campus. Hit save, it imports it in, and you're good to go. If you have any other questions about grading categories, please let me know or send me a quick email. Thank you.